about to hear songs yet. Thank you. 
we get it together to pay our last and final respects, God deceased, brother, father, many things to many people. Most of all, sake of God. Amen. We should further our services by selection hymn 397, Jesus Only. Why are we sad? Son of the choir. Why we sad at death's approach? Why tremble when we hear that this brief life draws to its end of strength when death is near? There's no death to those who know their sins are put away. They merely fall asleep to wake to everlasting day. Who keeps my word, the Savior says, death terror shall not see. The true believer never dies, yeah. but lives eternally. Yeah. Shall be sung and suited to come and be We always said it does why tremble when we hear?
to reflect on the life and to remember the life of our dear Deacon Dawson. We thank you, Heavenly Father, today for a husband. Thank you for an example of a father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for an example of a holy deacon. We thank you for the work ethic. We thank you for the consistency. We thank you for the loyalty. We thank you, Heavenly Father, not only for the life in its totality, but all the individual hymns that were raised, right. yes, testimonies that were given, yeah. wisdom that was imparted, yeah. and the life that was lived. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Yeah. Realizing what you have put before us, understanding, Lord, that you make no mistakes, but in your time, dear Lord, you brought your deacon home. But Heavenly Father, we are left here to continue to live this life. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, to ease our hearts on this afternoon. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we ask you to look down on this family. Yeah. We thank you for them, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord, how you that many have followed in his example. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, to comfort their hearts. Yeah. We ask you, Heavenly Father, that when Time has passed, and the memory and the light is still vivid in their hearts and their minds. We ask the Heavenly Father that even when they shed a tear, give them the mind, dear Lord, to shed it for joy. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, to just bless this service over all. Lord, you know that we don't do these things for fashion or vain glory, but we're coming here today, dear Lord, to not only remember, but to lift your name. Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, to let your spirit rule and super rule throughout this whole service. Let it have free course, dear Lord. Heavenly Father, most of all, we ask you to bless the one that's going to bring the message today, dear Lord. Heavenly Father, we know that we came to remember, but let somebody leave here today, dear Lord, renew in their spirit to do those things that are right, holy, and pleasing in your sight. These things and all blessings. We ask them, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. For the mountains were brought forth, forever thou hast formed the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Right. Thou turnest man to destruction and sayest, Return, you children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, yes. and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them as with thou carriest them away as with as with a flood. Yeah. They are as asleep in the morning. They are like the grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourishes and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we all. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength, they be four score years. Yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Yeah. Who knoweth the power of thy name? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. Yeah. So teach us to number our days, yeah. that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to, to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen thee. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord, our God, be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. We have read from thee. I for you from the night of the years of the Psalms, and may the Lord have a greater blessing to the preaching of his holy word. Yeah. 
should now be favored with the trombone of selection, Mr. Robert Hood, grandson of Deacon Doss.
time, we will ask you to read the obituary silently, if you will, please, from this inside the cover of the uh, booklet. And we will ask you to accompany by soft background music. Yeah. I look up and there he was. 
That's just how faithful he was to his job. He enjoyed it. As Deacon grew older and no longer served on the active board, he still helped out. He stood in for others many times. He was a dedicated and dependent usher. Deacon Dawson never failed to express how he thanked God for holiness. It really changed his life, and I believe helped him become the dedicated deacon and usher that he was. The last words deacon said to me were, I'll see you at usher board when you go Saturday. But God stepped in. Deacon will truly be missed. And to the family, I know you will miss deacon's kindness, devotion to you, and his loving spirit. I pray that God will comfort you and, after, and, and give you the strength you need to continue on after this work comes. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Carol Dawson uh, came ill, and, and she was 
blessed to have a long life after that started. But Deacon was so happy to see him about her. You know, he, you know, others wanted to kind of get in, and I'm sure they did help, but you could see his diligence around taking care of his wife. And that, that impressed me as a younger uh, person trying to put out my way. The other thing people mentioned were things about his dedication and the detail to being on time and making sure he was doing the Lord's work. And I will tell you that that made an impression on me when I became a nurse. You know, the first person I would see most of the time when I got there, he was already here. And so that, that impressed me. And I was thinking about him. He greeted everybody. You know, they teach you to do that. Not everybody does that. That's right. But he wanted to make certain that when you came through the door, he knew your name. And he said, how you doing, bro? You know, sister, so and so, you say a few jokes. And by the time you got to your seat, you were ready for church. So that was something that he imparted on me. I won't go further because I do want to respect the, the time frame. But I'm going to ask you all, we can, we can have a particular hymn of these songs all the time. So I'm going to ask if you are a worship or a pastor that you stand. And I'm going to ask if you are a deacon or have been a deacon that you stand. And, you know, I can swing, but I can't sing. So at the end of the conversation, I'm going to ask you to join me in honoring Deacon Dawson for the work that he's done for all of us. So it goes like this. Give me with that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Every time, as soon as I graduated from the academy, every time 
I saw Deacon Dawson. He said, Hey, Sam, how you perking it? <laughs> I, I know everybody knows that. What's the word of perking it? Y'all young folks don't know what that means. And that's like the perking coffee by the one. Google it. Yeah. Deacon Dawson took my family in, and we would go over his house with his children, and Mother Dawson, and we would have dinner and we would fellowship. And, uh, and, and uh, I understand Brother Quint said that he wanted this other son, but I felt like I was his honorary son. <laughs> because he took me in. And as I go to my seat, I just, I would be remiss if I didn't mention how uh, he, would, he, he even took my son, Reggie, late Reggie Jr., in, him and uh, Brother David. He would take him out with him. He would spray and do extermination throughout the houses and things of that nature. And he helped mentor my, my son and show him the right way to go. When I had to work, and he, I knew where he was, because he would be in Dawson. He would love, one place he would love to take them down is to, is to the varsity. And my son would like to tease me, because he know I like varsity too. He told me, Dad, guess we know. I said, I already know. He watched some of them, he could have varsity, and then he'd bring me down. So I had to take Dawson, I said, y'all can't never remember me, I'm working, so y'all can't never bring me no varsity. He said, you ain't young enough. He you get your own. But that I'm gonna miss my friend, and God, so I thank God for him. I'm glad he came my way. And uh, there's another, he, he, he's always say that it was the word that found him. So I'm glad today that, that uh, Deacon Dawson found the word. And then after he found the word, now he didn't just sit somewhere and let it sit on a, on a shelf somewhere. When he found the word, he found out that the word, when he found the word, the word satisfied him. And that's why he was doing what he did. He showed you his service. And I'm going to see God bless you, God bless the family. And uh, we're going to miss Deacon Dawson, but God knew this. God bless you. Give an honor to God, to the bishop, to all the, to the elders, to the associates. I, too, thank the Lord for getting an opportunity to meet old Deacon Dawson. <laughs> Deacon Dawson been been here, of course, all my life. Same sentiments as everybody else was saying, always on time, always right in place. I was just thinking, and, and they got me down here as an intern because I got a chance to work with Deacon Dawson. And if I was, if I was asked, if I was to say raise your hands, I'm sure it would be a whole lot of <laughs> you here who got an opportunity to work with Deacon Dawson. And I, so it was, it was sort of like a, Deacon Dawson was kind of entrepreneur before that entrepreneur thing was, was fashion. And I got, got an opportunity, all the young brothers in the church at one point in time, would say, okay, I'm going with Deacon Dawson this weekend. <laughs> so it, it'll kind of be a, 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 a coming of age thing. Get an opportunity at a certain point and say, okay, your turn, your turn, your turn. But he took us all. When I say that, he literally spent time with just about every young brother who came through the church who had any interest yeah. in going to work. Now I have to say, on mine, I end up being an entrepreneur to a degree, and uh, others did. Uh, but what he did for me, I have to, I'm trying to break it down for you because I got to hold it down and let me tell you this. So Deacon Dawson, there were certain people that he take with him and you know everybody come back and you kind of say what you made that time. Well, I always came back and it seemed like I got the list out of what everybody else <laughs> Deacon Dawson took me out and uh, you know, everybody who worked with him know he had that little spray can and that bottle and he kept for years and years and years. I said, D, you gonna let me pump the spray bottle? He, he, he said, no, nah, I got it, I got it. So he get everything else ready, you know, he get his solution going, that mix the solution in the back of his truck. Actually, he always kept the back of his truck so clean and nice and set apart. Uh, went into the back of his truck, got everything ready. I said, okay, D, we're going to spray this house. He said, he said, yeah, we, we're gonna we're gonna take care of I'm, I'm gonna take care of that. And he get have me a spray bottle. He said, well, here's your spray bottle, but you shine these tires right here. I'm <laughs>
spent time on the street. But that was Deacon Dawson. But he always spent time and took time. And then others can attest to it. If you were to go out and say that Deacon Dawson reached to you, I guarantee you'll say, you'll find that it said that he reached out to the youth, he worked with the youth, and he gave us all. We saw his commitment. Yeah. We saw his relationship with others. That's, Deacon Dawson had clients because of relationship that are probably still ringing his phone right now from generation to generation to generation. Saints, he left something with me, and I thank the Lord for it. And he showed me, always in his testimony, he always talked about what holiness did for him. So I was encouraged by it. And family, please be encouraged. And know that what he left for you, that legacy, don't let it go. Uphold that legacy. Sure, but I don't know whether it was with either the spray or the hymn. <laughs> <laughs> but he 
he had works. Thank you, God, for his salvation. He did not have religion, but he had salvation. God had given him the strength and the power to raise his family with his lovely wife. And God brought them up into a beautiful way. And we thank you, God, for that. All right. At this time, we're going to move forward now. I have called for a selection coming from the choir. I'll be satisfied. This is certainly described as you can go in reality. Thank you. And then following that, we have the eulogy by the presiding elder Carter T. Peake, who is the presiding elder of Elmo in the uh, Northwestern, uh, uh, Southwestern District of this National Convention of the Churches of God, Holiness, USA. So we ask you to, to listen to the Lord. The Lord has some things I'm sure you're going to use them to say, but uh, don't forget the occasion. But listen to the word. I'm sure you'll find that it's verified a lot that Deacon Dawson has done. Not only what he said, but what God has said. So we pray that God will use it to his own glory. At this time, we have the selection. I'll be satisfied in you. <laughs> Thank you. 
all of us have something in us causing us to do that's right. That's right. what we're doing. That's right. The Lord said, be whole. That's what the word said. What causes a person to be whole? Romans, the sixth chapter, in the 16th verse, we're going to have some, a little bit of reading here. Yes, sir. I'm going to read that, Romans 6 and 16, I believe it is. Know ye not? What? That to whom ye yield yourselves, mm -hmm. servants to obey, mm -hmm. his servants ye are. Oh, to, mm -hmm. what about it? To whom ye obey. Whom ye obey. Yeah. Whether of sin unto death, Sin unto death. Or of obedience unto righteousness. All right. What about it? But God be thanked. But thank the Lord. What? That he were the servants of sin. Sin did have a control and you were the servant of sin. Well, you just had the king have it. You just got weak when you were gentle. You just gave down to the pressures of the day and the times. But what about it? But ye. But what? Have obeyed from the heart. You obeyed not from the lips. No, no. Singing is good. All right. But what's going on on the inside? That's right. You've obeyed from the heart. Yeah. What? That form of doctrine. That form is a lot of, it's not a forms. Oh, but that is a form of doctrine that would transform your life. Yeah. If you believe it and obey it, it will completely convert the soul. Yeah. It will convert the mind. Yeah. It will change our way of thinking yeah. and change our doing. Yeah. If you obey from the heart, what? That form of doctrine. What? Which was delivered you. Which was the, you had to be delivered by a holy man too. What right. well, delivered them to you? What happened? Being then what? made free from sin. Oh, can't nobody live free from sin. Oh, no. wow. The Lord, the Lord said, "Be made free from sin." You are no longer behind bars. You're not locked up. Hallelujah! In the King heavens. You are free from sin. What happened then? He became, he became the servants of righteousness. The servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men. Drop to the 22nd verse. But now. Oh, thank the Lord. But now. What? Being made free from sin. Being made free from sin. Living holy is being free from sin. Do something to 
to your life. Yeah. One of the problems, I think it's in Matthew 16 and 15. One of the problems in the church world, people are coming to the building and then come to the building for years but they ain't never been to church. Because God's church is a salvation place. If we really ain't in the church, it's going to have all the churches, but the church. And then people don't realize I'm a church. If coming to work was like coming to church, some folk couldn't hold a job. Come to church, sit down. Church is over. You don't do that on your job. You come to work to perform. We come to church to be saved. Yeah. And we don't get saved. Something wrong somewhere. The gospel wasn't preached. The word wasn't preached. I didn't hear and believe. I didn't obey. Hallelujah. Something went wrong somewhere. You don't just go to church and just say, I went to church. You went to the building, all right. But if you went, come, come, been going to the building and haven't been saved 40 years, something tells me it's in the wrong somewhere. So the doctrine, yeah. what did he say, brother? Listen. He said unto them, What? For whom say ye that I am? There's a lot of folk talking, a lot of folk talking church, talking religion. Uh, but you see, you've been, y'all, you 12, you've been with me. And folks say all kinds of things about religion, all about church. Of but Jesus said, look, you're a full circle. I want other, other people say a lot of things about you, things about Jesus. But look, what do you say about him? Well, and Simon Peter answered and said, and Simon Peter, oh, that makes me cool, spoke up. Huh? Didn't yeah. say what? Thou art the Christ. Look at I, I, I don't I don't guess about it. I'm not guessing about self. No. You are the Christ. Well, of the Where? living God. Hello, hello, hello. If, do we have, can we, can we really stand up and testify to well, Jesus is? Oh, Lord. Can we really stand up? Huh? Be bold enough. So, courageous enough. To stand up for Jesus yeah. today. Are we ashamed to stand up for him? Maybe because our lives are not what they ought to be. But yes, sir. You know what I with that. But in this church, the yeah. word of God is preached. Yeah. In that purity, and we by gospel preachers to give us power to stand up for Jesus. For the Lord. Yeah. Tell us about what Jesus did for you today. Yes, sir. Tell us about your faith in God. Yes, Stand up. Yeah. Don't be shamed in the crowd. Yes, yes, what did he say about me? What? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Jesus answered and said to Peter, Blessed art thou. You so are blessed. Yes. Why? Simon Barzona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee. It didn't come from your schooling. It didn't come from touch and blood. It is a revelation. Yeah. What about it? But my Father, which is in heaven. The Lord, the Father, my Father, which is in heaven, what? I say also unto thee. He revealed it unto you. Yeah. And I'll tell you another thing, Peter. What? That thou art Peter. You are Peter. And upon this rock. Upon this rock. I will. Build yeah. my church. Uh, I might do. I will build yeah. my church. I'm going to tell you something. No matter what technology does, yeah. no matter what comes.
comes in this world, God, church, is going to prevail. Amen. 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 He said, I will build my church. Hallelujah. If the Lord built it, there's not a wrecking ball that can take it down. Because God built it. He built it on the standard that is above every standard that mankind has. I will build my church. And the church I'll build, what about it? And the gates of hell. I don't care no matter what comes out of hell. No matter what the devil comes up with. No matter what happens to the stars of mankind. The gates of hell. What? Shall not prevail against it. They shall not prevail against my church. Something tells me that's where we need to be. Something tells me we're on the same place. Yeah. Is that the church that Jesus built? Yeah. Because hell gates are open. Well, hell gates are open. That stuff in the coming on this world right today is impacting the church world. Amen. It's impacting the whole world. It's impacting the church world. And if we are not rooted and grounded, and really got the Lord in our in our heart in all sincerity, we are affected by the changes of the world we live in. Yeah. This world is almost all of me. We can't do without the cell phone. We can't make it without the computer. Automation everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere, almost everywhere. The man still dying. He had to stop there. Yeah. 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 But these these that uh, the gates of hell shall not what? Prevail against it. What else are you gonna do, please? I will give unto thee I'm gonna give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. I'm gonna give you the keys, see that there's the church, and then there's the kingdom of heaven. Well, Lord, right. Somewhere that will connect. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right. If the church you win. That got you in the kingdom. Oh, it's something wrong somewhere. Yeah. If the church you're in has uh -huh. not called you to live a life of free from sin, oh, it's a yeah. Yeah. Oh, Because in the church that Jesus built, oh, he said the gates of hell won't prevail against you. Yeah. So all you need to do is be in the church Jesus built. And if you're really in the church, that's the key to the church. I'll give it to you. I'm going to give you the key to the king. Key to the king. Now, when the, the turning part, now, like you got the key. But I, look at it. I, I am, I'm, I got, I'm the key. I'm just giving it to you to work with. So come on on 1 Peter. The first chapter and 14th verse. As obedient children. Give me a little key principle. Since you got the key, what's the key principle? What is it? As obedient children. As obedient children. Not fashioning yourself according to the form of lust in your ignorance. If you want to get into the kingdom, if you plan to make it into glory, that is a childlike obedience that you and I must have. Yeah. Don't come to church and say that I'm going to tell the church what to do. No, you got to make the kingdom like that. Keep that foot. When you go to the house of the Lord, go to the Lord's house to hear the word of God. And obedient children. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that? Not fastening yourself. What? According to the form of lust in your ignorance. Yes. Yes. The disciples going along with Jesus. And Jesus talked about he was going to leave them. They didn't want to know who's going to be the greatest. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But they got to argue about who. After Jesus goes, who's going to be boss? Yeah. <laughs> right. Let me tell y'all something. Except you be converted and get that out of your head. You come to church.
God because God gives us a prayer of a righteous man. We know God doesn't hear sinners' prayer. Well, how are you going to get saved then? That's a law. He worked that. So Jesus prayed. And I love the way the master did. He prayed once. And he came back. He prayed again. Went back again. I think each time he was praying, he was dropping gears. I think that's the third time. When he prayed that third time, tears, sweat. Certain things you cannot get. 
introduced himself. Yes. So I saw him, I felt like a dead man. Mm. He said, I'm going to tell you something. I'm he yes. that, yes. Lives. that lives. Yes. And, and I was dead. Come on, man. But let me tell you, behold, I am a liar. But everyone. It ain't no place for a dead church in Christ. Oh. The word death is dead in sin. So when the person is dead in sin, that ain't going to do right. May God bless you. Let's catch a sound. Thank you for the family. Thank you for the example. Hallelujah. Thank you for this soul that demonstrated. Holiness okay. in his life. May hey, God bless you and keep you in the pray for us and we pray for you and keep you strong.
church, and you give them by, and you give them how. If it were 
were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come with you and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Be at peace in the everlasting love of the Lord. Respectfully submitted on the second day of April, 2022, on behalf of the officers and members of Bethlehem Church of God Holiness and the National Convention of the Church of God Holiness, Atlanta, Georgia. Bishop James C. Taylor, pastor and president of the National Convention. May God bless you. May he keep you, may he keep you in the, in the heart of, of his hand. Thank you. <coughs> Now we have acknowledgments and announcements. Missionary Ford.
In loving memory of our dear Deacon Johnson, the Glover, Reed, and Reynolds Kings. Thank <laughs> you. 